a part of uh, like a small introduction i will give you to you uh, about a monitoring related and uh, management infrastructure management related then we'll go to the certain definitions for it today okay so what is this it infrastructure what is the monitoring what is the control activities are uh, like this so whole group will see first of all okay so these are the definitions also i've written so here it is morning what i told this thing afternoon morning or afternoon everything is afternoon only next after break okay so we'll see it operations what is that it infrastructure understand it infrastructure IT infrastructure. So, what is this IT infrastructure? What to maintain? Okay. So, first of all, understand the equipment what we have. So, okay. So, for example, Star Wars. Okay. Every 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 big company means it's a company means software company, IT company means there is a generally servers are there. Physically, physically. Uh, um, physical physical servers are a uh, different type of servers guys extra class is not required without going to any extra class on it so i am telling this notes is also uh, to understand infrastructure and certain points in a next level okay because your interviews are uh, these things will be always fast forward type only okay pre point kind of stuff only so get to know things from now only so physical server it computer types are available in the ppt sir which will be provided in the this one it infrastructure type sir physical server no 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 it is not there in this ppt it is not there in this ppt okay sir okay i will share this notes now all okay sure sir Okay, so this is for our uh, entire uh, understanding with the entire classes in my country. Okay. 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 Next, uh, okay. Physical, physical means tower server. So tower server means it looks like a normal PC, but it is a uh, little bit bigger. Okay. If you have any doubts or any questions, what to do? Put it in a Google only. Very simple. Okay. So it is showing what to where to read. Nothing. This is tower server. It's a computer intent your use server built in a uh, upright, upright cabinet standalone like this. This is the tower server. You can open this thing and you can get a cost of the server specifications of the server also. Okay. These are the tower servers. In a server, like a, it is look like a normal computer, but thing is it's not a just a normal computer it is a very powerful processor is inside and uh, hard disk uh, ssds multiple hard disk we can able to connect it like this normally we are using a mini towers this is a high towers this is a high towers this is useful for a small organizations small server kind of stuff like a small organizations one or two servers uh, kind of organizations they prefer a tower servers three four servers tower servers are better next one is rack server next one is rack servers so what is this rack server now see look at this this guy is inserting a rack this guy is inserting a rack see this is a rack so complete one single set this is a he is inserting a rack so that is called a rack server rack server means it is also a server internally so processor motherboard disk connectors everything is there okay this is the rack server now i open a site directly eagle.in okay so we can see this is the a single rack server you can insert the hard disk directly here inside there is a motherboard a hard disk connectors and everything is there here it is xeon silver 
16 GB RAM uh, by default we are getting with this one. 8, G, 8 core processor open by kind of stuff. This is the cost of your rack server. And you want to additionally, you want to add a more uh, processor inside. Each processor uh, uh, is a 65,000 around 65,000. Like this, you can able to add it. See, these are the operating systems. Server operating system. We will get the details also. You want to see, then also you can try. Okay. You can go to that website and also you can try. Just for fun, you can look at it. So you don't get any knowledge, but it's a, like a rack server. Uh, next. Yeah. Next one is blade servers blade blade is like this this is a blade system this is a blade is like this these are a blades blade is also a server is inserting a blade simple if you look at this and so it is look like a rack but rack means single rack means single server but in this rack multiple servers you can able to insert as a blade if you see the the down one the second one is blade uh, sorry rack server the big one is a blade contains it is a rack which contains multiple blades inside multiple blades, multiple blades inside see tower server rack server blade servers okay Right. So different things, different specifications, different kind of stuff is also there. These are all data centers. Data center means it's a combination of servers, storage devices, networking components like that. Okay. Internal parts of a rack. This is how we use open and looking at it. Very less persons are allowed inside. Okay. Next one is blade server. Next one is blade server. Physical server. So by appearing it. Okay. So every server, every server are a computer. Okay. So I put a every system means either it is a system or a PC. You can call it as a PC or laptop or a, a server based on hardware part having a individual components i'm typing cpu motherboard motherboard ram hard disk cd rom or dvd rom smps means power supply mainly um, monitors monitors different type of cables we connect it keyboard mouse UPS, UPS. okay ups for power supply okay power supply like this these are a different type of components in your system of course joysticks printers printers scanners okay like this next networking components um networking devices or a networking components what are the networking components or devices? Hubs, routers, switches, very good, routers, bridges, networking cables, like a RJ45 cable, mostly we use CAT5E. 
bat six cables hubs switches routers different type of cables usually like twisted pair cables UTP STP cables next modems firewalls USB USB pen drives USB external hard disk okay hmm. cables optical fiber cables what is it optical fiber cables mm, like that so many uh, networking devices nic's network interface card nic nic or lan nic card um. lan card Uh, another one is Ethernet card. Any name, you know, follow with some people like you know, sir. You said NIC, other person is saying LAN card. Your thing name is same. NIC cards. Next, okay. So, servers based on a physical appearance, physical components of a computer okay and uh, storage different kind of storages yes yeah, storages so uh, you are watching breaking sir you are not no oh, i am not in your voice are breaking you are not audible ah not audible okay Again, I have to check my network once again. Just uh, wait. Uh, two, three connections now, uh -huh. so that's why it's another one. Sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, one second, uh, I will disconnect and connect it. Yes, can you able to hear my voice now? So internet wall, internet. Uh, sir, your voice is cutting, sir. Internet uh, issue is there, so I connected to a different one. Uh, uh, sir, can I ask something? Okay, sir. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Uh, sir, how much time the session will go on? Uh, six, uh, six, maybe six thirty. Max on six thirty. I will cut. Okay, so tomorrow I will find another solution or a problem with uh, this Google Meet is uh, one more one problem. There is no recording option. That's why I have to connect to both the things. Zoom is better, but um, Zoom is busy. <laughs> okay, different storage devices, normal hard disk. Uh, maybe SSD. uh, SSD, 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 uh, here also guys, now only I'll give a detail, some details, SATA type of hard disk, SATA hard disk, okay, SATA is a faster, SATA is a slow, SATA is a new one, SATA is a old one, SATA means 
serial sata means parallel sata means connection network not a network no sir no not a network cable connector yes sir peripheral is yeah usually we use a ssd is also two type of connections sata 3 connection 6 gbps and uh, nv nv me nv mv and uh, that's a frame work it is framework uh, means the form factor is m.2 so this type of ssd is a faster this is slow okay this is faster this is slow this is faster this is slow huh? <laughs> full confusion so compared to sata normal hard disk compared to normal sata hard disk okay so sata is a faster than a pata ssds are faster than regular hard disk and very lightweight and very lightweight okay uh, in ssds sata 3 interface is there and nvme uh, type of ssds with a different uh, uh, interface is there okay so this type of thing this is faster and this is little slower yes you can uh, access through youtube okay so you can go to my channel i will share the link okay in your whatsapp group so from there you can see it um if recording is not mandatory for you so i will put everything into youtube only you can look at the differences uh, both the thing okay um ssd this one scsi means small computer system interface okay Uh, SSD type of disk also there. SSD type of disk also there. You can store the data inside. Next, SAS disk type means serial attached SCSI disk. Okay, iSCSI, another type of storage, another type of storage. next uh, dat dat are a dds that means digital audio tapes uh dds means digital data storage it is nothing but look like a cassettes only like a magnetic classes uh, cassettes type only audio tape ca cassettes only but uh, usually for storing a backup to store backups we use that okay these are the main storage uh, devices dias yes yes sorry sir can yes Uh, S E A N. Okay. Directly attached storage. Okay. NAS means network attached storage. SAN means. storage area network okay so here it is a must be in a caps so these are a, a basic uh, definitions and all okay so just this one. i am not going any details because lot of things you have to discuss just for a abbreviation purpose only 
ये टी ये पाटा मींस पैरेलल एडवांस्ड एडवांस technology attachment attachment okay sata serial advanced technology Uh, once again, you can try in a Google what is the serial like that. You can go to uh, pictures, then you will understand more. Okay, parallel advanced technology, serial advanced technology attachment. So that is the SATA part. NVMe non volatile memory, non volatile memory. NVMe non volatile memory. Just for abbreviations, just for a uh, uh, to note down things only. Yeah, important is IT infrastructure, physical servers. I told. Next, I told about uh, basic system components, storage devices, and uh, type of storages. These are uh, types of storages. Okay, so different things like uh, external storages. You can able to connect it. so printer scanners also there uh, uh, this kind of stuff is also there um raid is a concept not a storage right raid lbm kind of yeah uh, this is enough okay um next again servers okay again uh, servers depends upon the operating system i am telling okay i am telling different operating system then okay different operating systems different operating systems yes yes so yes yes so yes simple operating What is simple operating system? Network operating system. So, what is this operating system? Operating system means it's a piece of software which interacts with your hardware and user. It is nothing but a a software. Okay, operating system is nothing but a software which interacts with hardware and user and runs or applications. It's a very simply say an operating system and two types. simple operating system means desktop operating systems example windows then okay so almost like a windows 95 98 97 2000 millennium edition is also there xp is the 7 8 point when maybe i miss few things okay because it's a 97 97 second edition s 98 98 second edition 2000 millennium I don't really leave it out of lap. This starts of lap, okay. And Windows 10. So desktop-based operating systems are uh, simply say 
simple operating system microsoft does okay uh, we don't talk about mac mac people okay so so we don't know about a max network operating systems is mainly server os's what are the server os from microsoft is windows np 2000 server there are see np is there okay windows nt windows nt 2000 2003 2008 2008 2008 2008 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 2012 linux based operating system okay. linux unix operating systems are sos and nys operating systems next another type of operating systems are a sim single user single task operating systems single user multitasking operating system multi user multitasking operating system single user yeah, i usually i actually my our classes um our classes about um, service desk Uh, I started with the service desk. I jump into all the terminologies. Better to learn terminologies at least today. Single user, multitask. Multi user, multitask operating system. Example of single user, single task is EMS. dos only single user can able to operate single user multitask is windows any operating system okay multi user multitasking is completely linux and unix operating systems only okay so these are the about the operating system next server already server voices i told like this then server based on a service guys look at here i am telling you lot of story but we don't skip the original <laughs> part also server based on a physical build okay so depends upon a cpu size rack server blade server tower server so these are the physically if you see something that is called a server means what it is physically or by operating system or by it providing a service servers based on services servers based on a operating system here also i am writing here so when you install a an operating system into a machine obviously that is become a particular server that is become a particular server like a, this is my 2012 server this is my 2019 server this is my linux server this is my unique server so only based on a server operating system only we are talking but based on the service what is this we'll see for example web server okay usually microsoft ias is a role if you install the role into your server ias so then it is web server uh 
और एस टी टी पी डी अपाची सर्वर अपाची एस टी टी पी डी अपाची टॉम कैट और ग्लास विश me if you are wrong so i i know tomcat httpd kind of stuff glass fish i never use okay so glass fish uh, not only that there is a, some other kind of servers also there for a web server to there is a machine which providing a website okay by using a some application or a default role so it is become a web server what web server will do provide web page okay provide a web page simple you open a website it is opening right so that is a web page like a, okay w3schools.com this is somewhere there is a w3schools.com web web uh, server is there i ask i want a web page i got a web page okay or maybe tutorial points or maybe cloudx lab okay there is a cloudx lab server a maxing website okay like that that is a web server ftp server or we can say file server what is this this server use protocols like a ftp okay vs ftp we can store and uh, access and store means we can put or a get and store upload and download data okay you can upload and download the data from the ftp server uh, web server ftp server uh, any other things dhcp server what is dhcp server dynamic host configuration protocol dynamic host configuration protocol provide ip addresses to clients this is a server okay uh, dns server uh, what is this yeah sir d means domain which d this d or this d Which D? This D or this D? DNS server means domain name service. Yes, DNS server means domain name system. But DHCP means dynamic host configuration protocol. Very good, dynamic host configuration protocol. configuration protocol protocol very good okay guys anybody will tell what is the port number dhcp dns port numbers dns 53 dhcp 67 68 last class i told na Forget. It maps domain names to IP addresses. What is this DNS server will do, guys? Very simple. So when I want to access this website, when I, I want to access this website, I have to access the website with a how to access a website with a IP address only. In entire network, you have to access. 
in the network you have to access with the ip addresses only with the ip address only like your telephone you have to call to anybody by using phone numbers right you have to call to anyone by phone numbers but we are using names only okay we open the name we will call uh, but actually call goes by number only number. so how you got the number from your contact list same as dns server has the ip address of this particular uh, domain or a particular uh, name ip address of this particular server so whenever you try to open this one first dns server will give you ip address and then we can able to communicate look at this one i will tell once again dns server is a very simple concept it is a server somewhere it is located we don't mind about it okay but concept of dns server is i open a website from a laptop okay now here is my original server original website web server is here so this is cloudx lab for example i want to reach here i want to reach here through internet but i don't know ip address of this server i know name but i don't know ip address so what to do contact contact list <laughs> request go to dns server dns server ver verify about this name where is like a cloudx lab okay cloudx lab this belongs to this ip address and it written ip address to me then i will contact my server so what is uh, dns server role name to ip address mapping you ask for a you given a uh, name then it check the name and ip address it will give you ip address and then we can contact our servers with the ip address directly so that is a dns name maps domain name to ip address it provide it provide ip address of domain names i will put a domain names so both are providing ip address but the difference is dhcp will give you an ip address for your communication so it will give you an ip address and this is it will give some other domains ip address to you for communicating understand guys again i will tell if you got confused anyone see simply understand a mobile communication you want to make a call first of all you should have your own phone number right you should have a your own phone number this is for example this is my phone number my mobile number i want to communicate to whom uh, will search for a name here okay still deepak is there okay so if, uh, for example i want to call to deepak okay and i have a saved contact of deepak so in my mobile phone in a contact list deepak and some phone number is there for example this is the phone number for deepak now i open deepak name and dial call went with the, this phone number to outside i reach the deepak phone finally right what are it is happen in between we don't know but so from my mobile phone how it is go went uh, how it is call went first of all i should have a number and i have to call to this number how i got this number in my contact list already there so then i can able to communicate so that is this part is a given by like a dns type okay name and ip address that is given by dns server
and who will give you this number who will give you this number is dhcp server dhcp server it will give you an ip address that's the difference okay later we can go deep of a dhcp and all if i got a chance to discuss that one mm. rdp server remote desktop server rdp port number 3389 authentication servers so one is like a ldap is the one of the thing ldap open ldap these are the uh, type of servers chap ms chap these are also for uh, authentication and authorization related authentication purpose but here we can see active directory domain controllers active directory domain controllers okay which is actually adds the service active directory domain services uh, this is the server this is also the so this is also a, a authentication server mm. wses server wds server this is a update server windows deployment server or service okay so what is a deployment it will install operating system to it will install operating system to other computers through network through network i can install a operating system to multiple computers what is update server regularly when we are connecting our laptop or a mobile phone through internet we'll get update regularly right uh, if in case i have 100 computers it's very difficult to update under computers through internet what i will do i will update through update server one more is there not one more there so many are there vpn server what is vpn virtual private network very good virtual private network so you can communicate through a regular internet okay public network you can communicate from your laptop to your corporate network through public network using a vpn vpn is a highly secured network okay okay virtual private network okay so this is the vpn server compulsory guys vpn server is a very important server uh, any other servers <laughs> currently web servers file servers dhcp server dns server uh, remote desktop server Uh, active directory domain controllers vpn server remote access servers uh, wds server wses servers anything anything okay this is a just uh, what is this also you can try and what it will do mm. network time protocol what is this time server this also a server time server guys look at here one small again i will tell again physical server is a, like a physical appearance just you go to a server okay board server a blade server guys it's just a physical device that's it it does not do anything it does not do anything actually server means it provide a service and what is server server provide a service remember this server 
provide service okay. client access the service okay next server never give a anything to client server usually never give anything to the client client has to request client has to request always this formula only guys client always okay request to server then server view service to client okay but that not much easy client accept the service okay Here, here, here is also there our respond to the client. Okay, respond to the client. Like a client request for a web page. Server give you web page. Okay, you send a request for a web page, and the server respond with a web page. With a web page. Okay, so this is actually server meaning. But by based on the physical appearance or the machine which is used for a service server related purpose so that's why we call this one as a physical server if a server or a machine not providing any service it is simply say useless how much cost of it okay how much cost of it okay you buy a uh, a simple bike with a uh, something around uh, um, 50000 or 1 lakh rupees you buy a, a bike and you buy a car with a 10 lakh rupees which is best if you don't use a car you not at all you don't know how to ride the car and you didn't use for any transmission so you are using only bike so bike is actually you are giving a service your car is not giving you any services because you are not using it okay like that so these are by physically differences that's it by service these are the different types okay and different components cpu motherboard ram hard disk uh, cd rom dvd smps monitor cables there's a few monitors are there and storages also we discussed it these are all part of your uh, um, infrastructure and someone told ups also that is also get uninterrupted power supply ups uninterrupted power supply okay Networking devices, hubs, switches, NICs, routers, a different type of cables we use it, modems, firewalls, uh, firewall, uh, YFC cables we are using, okay, uh, NICs also we are using with the different names. Different type of operating system we are using in generally, operating system means it interact with your hardware and user and um, run applications and it provide user interface. okay next simple operating system network operating system network operating system means server operating system simple operating system means desktop operating system single user single tasking single user multitasking multi-user multitasking type of operating system basically server operating systems again i will return here a different type of servers windows nt servers 2000 server 2003 server 2008 server 8 r2 server 2012 2012 r2 12 16 1922 server based uh, uh, oss is there so server based on a uh, services different services of a servers are there depends upon like you call a server as a server based on the service like web server provide a web page a server providing a web page means web server providing a file service like you can upload a file or download a file that is called a file server ftp servers a, a servers you are getting a service from a device is a dhcp server like a example your wi-fi remember not only a normal your wi-fi routers also providing this one remember wi-fi router providing 
IP address to your mobile phones and laptops. So the, your Wi-Fi router is nothing but a DHCP server automatically. DNS server, which is usually we have a original DNS server is a outside one. Okay. So which maps your uh, uh, domain name to IP addresses. When you given a name, you will get an IP address. So then we can able to communicate with the devices. RDP server, authentication, LDAP servers. Um, actually, better remove this one. Okay, VPN servers, WDS servers, WSU servers, Active Directory domain controllers. Okay, network time protocol. Like these are uh, all our servers only. But I actually I started with uh, infrastructure details, but uh, this is also covering my, my one point I want to cover that one I put it in this one only one is like a what is operating system second one is what is server server basically based on a services only different type of servers I want to tell I told that one <laughs> okay I told different type of servers okay it covers a lot of things guys so don't forget this one okay don't forget this one and uh, anything else uh, i told cables networking devices yeah that's uh, that's the main important okay monitoring devices uh, everything lot of system applications application server we forget this one application server there's a separate server called application server is also there okay so this is about your infrastructure and the devices operating systems different type of operating system different type of components hardware components and uh, server uh, related components server related operating system storage devices okay different type of servers based on the services we discussed it guys once you go through once this one you will understand okay now maybe you're a little bit confused this one. anybody having any doubts No, not right now. Not right now. Very good. Uh, only small point it is. Uh, not a small point. So tomorrow we'll see uh, different things like uh, already I told in my uh, actually I have to go to that one. But uh, now we don't have a time. Uh, better not because it's afternoon time and maybe some people are having meetings. Uh, tomorrow uh, we'll discuss about uh, different terminologies. Okay. Like uh, uh, incident management and all. Then I will go back. Like these are all mixing one, so we'll go with uh, certain examples, and I will explain uh, briefly about uh, ITL tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Sir. And I will share uh, certain videos of my world videos. Then you can also see. Look at here. Okay. Um, this is a network related. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, I will share the PPT. I will share the PPT also. So first okay. of all, I will...